Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to create a hair wrap for the upcoming Navratri festival, which is going to be in October. What I decided to do is to create plots. And you won't believe me, I've done five of them. Five small and then into a bun. So what you do is section the hairs as shown. So you've got one section, two sections. And then you're going to create a third one, which is like a V. You can see it's halfway up uh, the corner of your eyebrows on both sides. And secure it with the pin. Now what I've done is I've applied some dry shampoo to create texture. And while you're plaiting it, um, the hairs are more manageable. All over the from the roots to the end and the front as well. Take little sections and apply it and kind of rub it. Now what you what I'm doing is I'm gonna start plaiting. This what I've done is I've done a Dutch braid. So I'm plaiting it with just two strands. So as you see, you take a section, roll it over the first section and continue doing it till you come to the middle of the back. So you pick all the hairs starting from the front up to the middle of the nap area at the back and make sure it flows through you're going to create the, the plait is going to be in line with the with the top here best I can describe so continue doing it so with the dry shampoo you can see the hairs are quite manageable they don't fall off your fingers once you reach the nap area that is the last strand that you pick up Now I'm going to divide the hairs into three strands and plot it. I've secured it with a hair grip. Uh, and now you see it's an out, out, outward plot. And secure it with a the hairband. Now on the other side similarly you do it up to the nap area at the back. Now what you're going to do is we're going to divide the hairs the top section into two parts. Secure one part away from the other and now I'm going to create a, a French plait with three strands make sure you do it loosely so your hairs don't uh, sort of pull because sometimes if your hair pulls you get a headache or it's very uncomfortable 
very loosely and what I do is I kind of uh, tug the hair a bit loosen up rather and normally when you loosen up your plait you do it as you're plaiting not while you come at the end it's a bit hard then see now you can loosen up the And then plait the rest of the hair and secure it with a hair band. Now I'm going to do the top one opposite side to the other one. Create a French plait again, but on the opposite end. So we create uh, that look. Continue similarly the we well, did the other one. Now loosen up again, tug the hair a bit so gives more definition to the plot and again right till the end secure it with the headband now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna style the plot into place this is where you start putting on the grips put it in such a way that they're not showing inward and right inside like a hairpin but these are really grips. So you can style one of the plaits. So it gives a nice look. So that you could you could don't see the parting this uh, looks flawless secure it with the uh, hair grips now the three plots I'm gonna create a another plait out of a plait and then create a bun on the top so all the hairs are away from your face so when you're doing your dandia or gerba you don't have any, all the hairs away from your face again secure it with pins hairpins and you're done what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna style a necklace around the hairstyle so it's not a monk tika or anything like that it hasn't got a, a middle uh, chain just got two chains I'm gonna show you how to do that you can start making use of your uh, necklaces now Secure it on both sides. You can apply some surgical or eyelash glue, which is quite hypoallergenic. It won't give you a reaction. It's always best to do a skin test. And then you can ask the model to kind of um, press it so that it dries up. And I'm going to take, uh, take in a needle with some black um, thread a strong black thread and I needled it into one of the um, holes in the pendant and I'm gonna create um, a loop 
this is where I'm going to put the hair grip in and secure it into the bun so that um, it doesn't fall off. Instead of having a chain, I've done it with a, a thread. And you're done. Thank you for watching. And please share and subscribe to our channel. Your comments are welcome.